It's African tradition where right. elders are respected. And it's African tradition. Like, I, I went to the, the Louvre in Paris, which is like the most well-respected museum of all time. And it was interesting to me because I was looking at the Egyptian... Um, you could spend a whole day just in the Egyptian. It's crazy how much artifacts they actually stole from Africa, but that's a different story. But mm -hmm. The thing that I noticed from African art and African artifacts as opposed to the European art and the European ar ar artifacts is that most of the African arts had men and women together. The Europeans was just like, just men. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or mm. just a woman. Talk about so it. So it's like, the family structure, that's always been part of African mm -hmm. tradition. Mm -hmm. the elders, so it's like, even the Willie Lynch, like this is a a manuscript of mm -hmm. how to make a slave. One of the things is play old versus young. Yep. Play men versus women. We see the same thing happening. That's on how media. they get us, bro. We see like even now to this day, you see social media, everybody debating about relationships and should you pay for a date? Da, 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 da. It's just men and women going back and forth. And then it's like the number one thing that hip hop has done over the last decade is Yo, you old rapper. Like, you old. Bro, you know I hate when people do that because, now nah, it's, well, everything we talk about is pros and cons, right? <clears throat> and it's ways that we fix that. Because I hate when people say the old rapper or you washed up or it's this and that, right? Because what we really doing is we tearing down our elders, right, that can help open up more doors and more lanes for us to have more platforms to create more revenue. The problem with that is a lot of our elders be still trying to rap like us. It's like, nigga, rap like the adult you is. Some of these rappers still be 47 talking about they got bitches <laughs> in the club and still driving Bentleys. <laughs> nigga, you married with three kids and got businesses. But there's a part, there's a part that goes with that, right? And you, you, you come from this, this generation. It was like, we never saw our artists grow Oh, we never, but we never got I was, to see it. I was about to get into that yeah, because hip hop is relatively new. Yeah, it's 50 years. It's the 50th year of it. Right. So at anything with age, you get wiser. Right. So as we continue to grow as a culture, I think the labels as the old rapper or washed up or all those things will continue to go away because the dude who's 25 now is going to be 30 in five years and his life is going to be different. So he'll understand the person he was dissing five years ago because he'll be in that business playing that role that that person he was dissing just left. And you yeah. can have mental, like, KRS said something that was extremely insightful. He was like, old people have wisdom that young people don't have. 1,000%. Young people have energy and information that older people, people don't, don't have. have. They need each other. The information and, and, and the youthfulness is not the most beneficial if you don't have wisdom. Mm -hmm. But the wisdom is not even really that beneficial if you don't have new ideas. So it's like, both have to respect each other. Like, old people have to respect young people. Mm -hmm. And young people have to respect old people. And that's how you really, and like you said, now with hip-hop, you have mentors. Like, you have Busta Rhymes. You have Jay-Z. You have a Nas. Like, we didn't have, they, that wasn't right. there before, right? Mm -hmm. Now you have elder statesmen who have been respected who's not like, you know, homeless. Like these are people that got money that, you know, people respect. That's what our culture still respects, right? Like yep. what's your watch look like? That's yep. still something that's, yep. but now it's like, I right, as a young rapper, I can sit down with X, Y, and Z, get information, give game, mm -hmm. and now I'll be better suited as opposed to just trying yeah. to wing it. But this is new. Like even this is this is new, right? Like I grew up listening to Big Daddy Kane and KRS-One. Mm -hmm. After a while, they couldn't even do a show. Because mm -hmm. nobody was interested. Like now, like they're still doing tour. They on tour now. It's the only genre when you think about it inside of music where it's like our artists couldn't get old, right? Because even like think about Jay, right? Jay's fifty three years old. Mm -hmm. LL's fifty five. They looked at it differently, mm -hmm. right? They're not too far apart, but mm -hmm. they LL never. There was never a, a space where it was like, yo, this could be the Rolling Stones, mm -hmm. or you guys could be. Even in R and B, we see it like now, with Anita Baker, she's still touring. Yeah. So like, this is a, a brand new genre of letting our artists age, letting them letting them mature, yeah. letting them go through life experience and explaining what that is. I think, like you said, the issue is that at forty six. Like I'm in my, I'm 41. Like yeah. I want to hear about what life is at this point because at this and now I said it right. I've been I've been wealthy a lot longer than I've been broke, which is true. I watched you at 20 when exactly. you when you dropped Illmatic. 
you you about to be fi- you fifty now, right? And this is thirty years of woke. Listen, what Nas talking about? And now it's changed. It's changed exactly. So it's like we're watching Nas, we watching Jay, we watching certain people do it. I, like I'm saying, I think the problem is because hip hop is rooted in youthful culture. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of elder statesmen feel like they have to stay young, and that's not relatively the case anymore. We need y'all to grow up. To set an example to give us the wisdom on what not to do on how to, like, we don't want to go broke when we get y'all age. Right. Rap about how we don't do that. Exactly. Y'all don't tell us that. Y'all tell us, keep going. Post that (laughs) shit on social. Keep keep your foot on their neck. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop yelling. Yeah. And then you DMing my producer trying to get a beat and all. It's like, bro. I need that sound. You feel me? No. Like, don't do that. Continue to be who you were, but just innovate your thing. So when when you're creating, because I think you're in the part, and Cole had it, I think he said it best when he made the song, Middle Child. Yeah. Like, he really is in the general. You know what's crazy? How, what's that process like for I was kind of mad at Cole for making that song. You wanted to do it? I wanted to make that <laughs> so bad, bro. Because that's really who I am, bro. Uh, you, I, and he uh, is, too. He is, He right. is, too. But when I heard it, I said, this motherfucker. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like him. He, he just thinks shit I think. Like, a lot of shit I feel and think. Like, I, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to do this. And then he'll just, oh, this motherfucker. I love Cole, though. Shout out to Cole. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>